What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at a very powerful Town Hall 13 attack strategy. This is a new thing I just saw in this war, some of my clan mates trying it out, having a ton of success with it. It is the Zap Quake Witch attack at Town Hall 13, and it's not your typical Zap Quake because you're using four Earthquake spells to both do damage to the clan castle, take it out in the middle of the base and other buildings, as well as open up a bunch of walls for this spam type attack, spreading out uh, two golems, bowlers, witches, the siege barracks on one side, the royal champion on the other side, uh, your heroes going up the gut. It is just an all-out spam attack, and it is working at Town Hall 13. Taking a look at a couple replays today, um, against the right base, it will crush it, guys. That's what we're seeing, and um, you'll see it coming out in this attack here. A few hogs with the real champion. Uh, take note of that at the top there um, to kind of help tank that single inferno. That's really key, so you don't have to waste your real champion's ability too early you don't want this single inferno to lock on to her because that can take her out very quickly even with her ability um but you know the hogs on the other side coming through from the siege barracks and then some witches on both flanks with the uh, heroes the queens and bowlers still working in the core i mean this attack is crazy um there there are ways to defend it um i think once or you know if it becomes a you know very popular attack we'll see bases change a little bit um, but it is just taking advantage of these lightning spells, how powerful they've gotten. And also the witches, um, I think, you know, had gotten buffs a little bit uh, back, you know, here and there. And they uh, were really not used for a while, but they're coming in at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, being used more and more. Um, so let's take a look at another one, break it down a little more. So like I said, notice how we have four earthquakes, five lightning spells. What's going to be used is the five lightning spells to damage the initial buildings in the area, then the four earthquake spells. That's enough to take out the clan castle, as well as in this case the expo next to it. Um, probably could have got the warden if he dropped it in between all three of those buildings, um, but not a huge deal there. Um, the uh, the idea is if the clan castle is in the middle of the base, this works really well because you're taking down the clan castle as well as opening up a place where you already would be using earthquakes uh, typically in the core of the base. Then all you do is like one jump spell, you're able to bring uh, I think one or two rages, maybe just one rage you have room for, um, and then just laying out all these troops. So we have uh, on the far left the Royal Champion on the opposite side of the Siege Barracks, so you kind of use them on opposite sides along with the Witches, along with the Bowlers, they're just spread out over the entire uh, side that you're attacking from. And of course your three main heroes just go up the gut. That's going to be the main substance of your push through the core of the base, it's just your heroes with some of the Witches, Bowlers, and maybe the Golems if they go in the base. Uh, so it's not always going to be the most overpowering uh, attack inside the base, but the idea is look at these flanks, guys. You have the Royal Champion made it all the way around, which is on the on this side. Um, the Siege Barracks troops, Hogs, Wizards, the P.E.K.K.A. made it on the other side. So it's really kind of uh, an old-fashioned witch attack in a sense that you just got to get the core and the sides will wrap around and get everything else. So you just got to balance what goes in versus what doesn't. And these are all great examples of how to get it done, how to deploy everything. But you can see the army comp there. Three golems, eight witches, and uh, 14 bowlers, guys. That is uh, that is what's working. A um, little bit of connection trouble, but we're back. Uh, my attack actually was a different strategy, not going to show it. And assuming the Wi-Fi works, yep, there we go. Um, one more attack, once again, three golems, uh, bowlers, witches... And it's working really well on the bases with the central clan castle. Uh, so far, I've seen people only use the uh, the lightnings on that clan castle. You can maybe do it on the eagle, um, but if the CC is in the middle, it might be the best thing to take out because uh, you don't have a lot of troops going in the base. And if there's headhunters coming out, they can take down your heroes really fast. So you got to be careful. Um, no need for a jump spell on this one, which is really nice. So just brings a couple freezes along with that rage. One thing you noticed at the very beginning of the attack, guys, um, the attacker used the lightning spells not all in one place, but spread them out because uh, some buildings are lower hit point than the, clan than the CC. So you can spread it out, damage multiple buildings, have the earthquakes take them all down. 
Um, so that's a nice little technique. You can go back and check that out again if you missed it. Um, using the lightning spells spread out to take out more buildings that are lower in hit points around the clan castle. Of course, every lightning spell has to damage the clan castle itself. It can just be on different sides of it to pair with different buildings that are around. Anyway though, um, same thing as last time guys. On one side, we had the uh, royal champion. On the other side, we had the siege barracks. We had a wall of witches, wall of bowlers, and then the golems kind of tanking at, at a few different points, middle, left, right, and of course the uh, king, queen, warden going up the gut there. And, you know, if you deploy things correctly or in well, it can work. And it, I think this has been like a three out of four of these attacks have worked. So look to do it, guys. Of course, if you're defending this, you got to make sure your core of your base does not have the clan castle in it does not have good pathing through the core, and the outside is not friendly to witches. Um, so think of using giant bombs, even small bombs, and then also the skeleton trap near single infernos. Stuff to trip up the royal champion as well as she goes along one of the flanks. All stuff to think about in your base building. Um, and as you guys know, above me is always some of the Patreon perks. You can check that out for custom war bases, etc. Link in the description. Let's check out the poll responses brought to you by my creator code BISECT. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the month, so you gotta make sure you enter my creator code, especially if you plan on buying the um, gold pass for the month of September. So uh, be sure to get that entered in, really appreciate that. Um, a lot of you have been supporting me and I'm really thankful for that. So thank you guys uh, who are doing that. Taking a look at the poll results, I asked you if you, um, had to pull off a three star to win a very close war what attack would you feel most comfortable using and the responses were overwhelmingly queen charge hybrid and i think that people interpreted the question as um just being the versatility of the queen charge hybrid is very reliable against a lot of different bases um and drag bat uh witches or very base specific sometimes. Well, maybe not after this video, which is hurt, but uh, they, they have been. And um, I meant the question, like, if each of these had an equal chance of working on the base, which do you just feel most comfortable doing the deployment of the troops and carrying out what needs to be done if you think they all have an equal chance? I think if I made that more clear, um, we might have had some more love for Dragbat and Super Witch, because I actually personally, those are my two favorite to actually carry out and deploy. I don't like doing the Queen Charge hybrid just because the Queen Charge, your Queen can often die uh, if you don't keep her up and she can go the wrong way. There's a lot of, bit, a lot of stress with Queen Charges, I feel like. But um, it seems like a lot of you are comfortable with that strategy. It certainly is very versatile, especially at Town Hall 13, if you have to pull off some magic to win the war. So thanks for the responses, and um, look forward to doing the next poll and seeing what you guys think. That'll do it for today's video. I'm going to be pre-recording some of the videos for the first half of September because I'm going on a trip, but I'll be sure to space them out so you get the usual content. And um, yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.